What's up everyone, it's Nick and this is a video that I actually did not plan on making. I was actually planning on my next video being about the NBA Finals, what a game that was, but I'm gonna really work on that a little more, but in the meantime, I'm gonna give you this unscripted New York Yankees video, so before we go any further, if you could please like the video, that'd be much appreciated. Really helps out with the YouTube algorithm, only takes one second. If you could please subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. I cover basketball, baseball, and football on this channel. If you love any of those three sports, it's the place for you. And also, if you could please hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now, gotta talk about a couple things. First, a comment that I got on my last video about the Yankees, where, as you know, if you watched it, I was not happy. So, I am surprised you didn't do Cole video, or I'm sure he meant a Cole video. Not eating spider tack because he has two good starts in a row. Dude, I had a screenshot of that thumbnail in that video, so how about you actually watch it before commenting? And also, do you think that I just make my videos that fast? Because you should know if you watch my videos, I put a lot of work into the editing, so no. Come on, don't expect me to just make videos just like that because that's not how this works, okay? But now that you bring it up, Hey, I'm happy Garrett Cole had another great start. Six innings, 11 strikeouts, and it's his second game in a row where he pitched really well without spider tack. 15 innings now, and just one earned run given up, so bravo, Garrett Cole. I'm really happy, and I'm happy that the Yankees beat the Red Sox, finally. Took you eight tries, but am I going to be like, oh, Yankees are turning the corner. No, because this has been the story of the season. You look really good for a few games, and then you look awful for the next few games. So, one win is definitely not enough for me to think that this team is turning the corner. And I called out Glaber Torres and Gary Sanchez in my last video. Hey, they hit home runs in this game, so good job, guys. But you guys need to get on a hot streak. And Gary Sanchez, yeah, you were really hot in June, but not since then. So, hey, if Gary Sanchez could have another month like he had in June then yeah, I could take that number 24 jersey out of the closet. But anyways, the other thing I wanted to talk about, the fan that threw a baseball at Alex Verdugo. Dude, like, come on. And also the fact that there were fans even applauding that, like, come on, are you serious right now? And we had a problem with this in the NBA playoffs, and now it's happening in baseball. Guys, grow up, okay? I hate the Boston Red Sox too. I hate their guts, but at least I know where to draw the line. And yeah, alcohol was definitely 100% involved, but you know what, no matter how drunk you are, there is no excuse to be throwing objects at players, especially a baseball, something that could severely injure someone, maybe even kill. They'd probably have to hit him in the head to have any chance of killing him, but still, to throw a baseball at a player is inexcusable. I don't care how drunk you are, it's inexcusable, period. And it's not a good look on our fan base. And as a part of the Yankees fan base, I don't appreciate that. I may hate the Red Sox and yeah, I like to trash talk too. I made a couple videos dedicated to trash talking to the Astros, but I also know where to draw the line and I haven't been to Yankee Stadium since 2014. And I know throughout my years at Yankee Stadium, I never once had the thought of throwing anything at any opposing player. And I definitely never will. It's inexcusable. And if being drunk really does cause you to behave like that, maybe show up to the game sober. I'm sure it may not be as fun, but I'd rather not have as much fun than make a fool out of myself to everyone. And I'm just throwing this in right now. And I've been to sporting events sober before, and I still had a great time at the game. Although there have been some games where, yeah, I did have something to drink before the game and a little bit during the game as well. But even then, I'm able to contain myself enough to not be throwing things at opposing players. And again, no matter how drunk you are, that kind of behavior is inexcusable. So seriously, you could trash talk, I'm fine with that. I like to do it sometimes too. But first of all, the Yankees haven't been nearly consistent enough to be trash talking anyways. And well, okay, I made my most recent video trash talking to the Astros this year. And do I have any regrets about that? No, I'd do it all over again if I could, but hey, at least the Yankees won the series when I made that video. So. But the Astros are doing a lot better than the Yankees are right now, so I'm not gonna say anything to them about it. Yeah, they're still cheaters, but it is what it is. 
I made that video, whatever. But I'm not gonna drag it on right now because the Yankees just haven't been consistent enough. And like I said much earlier, they haven't given me a reason to really rejoice. One game isn't good enough and it took you eight tries to finally beat the Red Sox. But even if the Yankees were playing absolutely amazing this year, still, throwing a baseball at an opposing player is inexcusable, period. It's totally uncalled for. And I know that if Alex Verdugo were right in front of your face, you wouldn't dare to fight him because he'd kick your ass or any professional athlete would. Hey, even myself, I'll admit to this too. If someone from the Houston Astros were to show up right in front of my face, would I be excited about meeting them? No, but would I say the things I said to them in that video? No, I wouldn't do that either. But also, at the same time, I never had the thought of throwing a baseball at an opposing player at any moment in my life. So yeah, trash talking is fine, but at the same time, draw the line somewhere, okay? Attending a professional sporting event is a privilege it's not something that everybody in the world gets to do. Not everyone has been to Yankee Stadium. You earn the money that you spent to go to the game and respect for that. So don't abuse your privilege of going to a professional sporting event. All right? So that's it for now. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment if you'd like. And I'll be back with some NBA Finals content next. All right? Talk to you next time. Peace.